Hi, I'm Ty Starr, and I'm still getting ready to uh, stack Jenga. I recently did a tutorial on how to stack Jenga the way that I do in the pattern that I used. I only went over one set of blocks, and I need to get ready for the record, so I need to see what it's going to look like from the right setup. I'm hoping I'm having the right lighting and whatnot. And this could be a part two. I'm just gonna skip over explaining what I'm doing on this part because I did that in last video. This was the tricky part in last video is this angled one. This is when it starts to get fun. In the official record, you're not allowed to place six blocks at once, like so. Even though I would love to be able to do that, because that would save so much time. And I'm going to do that now, because this is just a demonstration. Okay, so this is where I think I about got to on the last video. I think if you just start doing this next layer, like so. My last video ended right ooh, ooh, almost fell. I wasn't being careful. Because talking and doing other things is a whole nother task. I'll get into some techniques of what I'm doing right here later. Um this is where my last video ended, and this is where part two begins. Hopefully I could edit that down to be an intro instead of 15 minutes or however long I've been here. Okay, now, if you were able to put two blocks at once, it would make these records a whole lot easier. So, as a demonstration, I'm going to do that, even though in the record I'm only allowed to place one at a time. Okay, and then once it gets to this layer, you do another one of these. And at this point, the tower, if still centered, should be pretty sturdy, at least to a point where if you put a block over here, a block over here, a block over here, a block over here, it shouldn't matter. Because the mass is big enough now that when one block gets placed, it doesn't increase the mass of the whole stack enough to displace the center of mass off of this, how big is this, one and a half centimeters by two and a half centimeter space that all of this has to be centered on even though I keep most of the mass away from the center. I wonder if that's why it works so well. So from this point, you can kind of see what I'm doing as far as it's kind of like the Jenga tower, four Jenga towers next to each other, except every time that they're like this, you know, every time they cross this ways, these kind of shift over to lock into each other. That way, it's not just four stacks and then the whole thing would just fall apart. That's, that's really key to keep it doing that. And then, to make a level of expansion, because I kind of did this same pattern back and forth for four levels, because four levels is what you, is needed before it's sturdy again. And then, once you do four levels, you could switch up the pattern. This time I'm going to do these on the inside again, so that I could have around the edges. Like so. And they go out. Just a little bit more. This little bit. I think so. Do you 
want to place a block, put one right there. Just let you know how that one is. Good job. <laughs> put one over the other one right, right there. Awesome. See how sturdy it is? Okay. And then I would do... Oh, it's been so long I need to remember it. That's why I'm doing the... Like this. After these come out this much by placing them that way, you could do another level of these. Hey, does paint black? Uh oh, am I gonna run out of blocks right now? There's no more spilt ones? Is, is that two sets? 12 blocks for four levels is 12 times. Or is, hey, don't jump around in here. That's 108 blocks. And that's, then you just need to keep going, don't you? If you've gotten to 108 blocks, there's no reason you wouldn't want to go further. So, unless 108 was your favorite number. 108 blocks didn't didn't leave me at a point in the pattern where I was like, hey, this is complete. Um, so third set and would be placed on like so. I I think a lot of this video might be sped up and be like, you can figure it out because you're smart. middle thing here. This is very important to do the ones in here and not expand too much too fast because then it all falls apart. So like I said, four levels of repeating pattern before you do something else. So I'm doing what I, the same level that I did here, where I placed 16 blocks in that pattern, and then I switched it up, and then I switched it, then I did the same thing here, and now I'm doing the same thing that I did here. Back and forth, those two 16 block patterns. And then from here, You've done four layers of repeating pattern. Another layer where something else happens, which I call an expansion layer, can be added. Instead of just adding this one here and filling up all of this space, put another one here and all around. And then when you place this one, again, now as this much overhang. And you do that all around. Then you're out of pieces again if you only have three sets. Then you have to go to set four. This is the new one. I'm going to save this one for the record. It says, how do you Jenga? Instead of, how do you stack up? Okay, let's just finish this. If you're getting into this fourth set here, let me go over another technique that I use once it starts getting really big. Um, is this light touching, where I yes. tap here, tap here, tap. Ooh, ooh, this this corner looks like it makes it wobble. Tap here. I tap everywhere, 
very very lightly and just apply pressure put the right amount of pressure on it and it see how much weight it could take in what places and where it needs it most so I don't put it on the side where it's about to fall and the blocks at this point is when you start noticing that all the blocks are not the same and you start getting weird little things like this that's hard to to like deal with and what you do to deal with these little things is you just it, it's block choice you just have to start choosing the right blocks the ones that feel like they will help that situation like I would choose this block to go over on this side rather than this block but I'm not going to place that, this one yet because I need to place some over here to make it more level so I'll place this one and then, no, nope, it's not ready for this one. Each block can vary in weight by 50%. How's it going? It's going great. So every expansion layer that happens, it, uh, it's like you're going one more step towards another Jenga tower even further out here. Four more others that are even more extended out. So you'd repeat these two again. Repeat those two patterns with these interlocking things and trying to select the right blocks so that it deals with these. Like I was saying, the blocks vary in size so much, and well, they don't, not so much. But once you start stacking this many of them, and they start doing this, that's because all the blocks are slightly different sizes. Some blocks are heavier than others. They're like range from like 14 to 21 grams. There's, there's not a lot of consistency in these wooden blocks. Some of them are a little bit bigger than others. Some of the, it seems to me that the light ones, the ones that are light colored, are also light. And then the ones that are denser are darker and they're heavier. But the ones that are denser and darker and heavier are also a little bit smaller maybe because they're more condensed like the volume is slightly less so when they're being placed in mass numbers next to each other you start to notice the little changes oh, oh no no don't get distracted by talking too much Okay, that was a great example. What happened right there was it almost fell towards me because I haven't been looking at it from this angle at all. And yeah, it's leaning towards me. The camera can't see that very well, but um, and I had to put extra weight over here to. Center the gravity. This is a pretty uh, wobbly stack. Well, it really wants to fall towards me. I bet I could just put. Okay, so what I'm gonna do 
since it really wants to fall towards me, is when I put this next layer on, I'm going to shift the whole layer towards you guys. Oh. Is this four sets down? Okay. Well, at this point, I wanted to stop and tell you, if you made it this far, you are officially amazing. Because the record was originally set at 208. And I believe this is now 216. This is the four sets that was required to break the original record. So, congratulations. My plan is to double this. The record is still 353, but someone just told me they stacked 400, which is great. I've stacked uh, 432 in another video of mine. That's what I plan to do any, any day now. That's how many I'll have stacked. But they'll be out of the boxes, because that's way against the rules. When I lift this off, it's going to fall. Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, hang on. It's pretty hard to, to, to stack it at all after that point. <laughs>